Good evening, this is Peter Hazlack from Camp Northwester Action News. Our top story tonight, camp has been cancelled this summer. We will be reaching out to various members of the camp community to get their reactions to this devastating news. But first, what will the deer on John's Island do without camp this summer? We've reached out to Lumpy the Deer by video call to answer that exact question. Thanks for having me, Pete. Thanks for coming on. So let's get down to it. How will the lack of camp affect the deer community on John's Island? Well, Mustache Man, as you may know, my family and I have been summering on John's Island for generations, you know. And this summer will really be no different. It's always nice to escape to the San Juans, you know, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Did you say you only spend the summers on the island? That is correct, Peter. On the off season, um, my family lives in Edmonds. Uh, we actually have a house on the east end of Johns Island, uh, but supposedly, according to family lore, we actually came over on the back of an elk that was swimming over from Stewart Island. An elk? Yeah. Because he operates a local water taxi service. Fascinating. So what will you be doing with all the newfound quiet time up here? Well, Pete, Peter, Peter, Rudy, doody doo You know, I just want to focus on my art. Let's really get into more of my art and, and working on it as much as possible, my art. Yeah, here I got, I got this right here. It's um, some of my art done in the expressionist abstract style um, for the low cost of $500. Well, that's all the time we have for that segment. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. I'm now being told that we've received a prepared statement from Camp Northwester's newest assistant caretaker, Jace Murphy. Hi, um, this is Karen, and um, I received a voicemail apparently intended for someone named um, Jace. Um, this is not Jace. My name is Karen, so you clearly have the wrong number, so please don't call me again. Bye. A uh, riveting announcement. <clears throat> and now we have a special guest for you all tonight, the legendary character Long John from the Camp Song. How are you, John? Glad to be on the show, Pete. Thanks for coming on. Our sources tell us that you are, in fact, Long John. Yes, I am Long John. Our sources also tell us that you are long gone. Yes, I am indeed long gone. Like a turkey through the corn? Like a turkey through the corn. With your long clothes on? Yes, indeed, with my long clothes on. Our sources also tell us that you have been previously locked up and had made an unsuccessful attempt at escape. Um, I'm sorry, I thought we were here to talk about my new book. Is it not in fact true that you were a fugitive on the run from authorities? Did you not make, and I quote, Listen, that was all in my past. If I listened to what Rosie said, I'd be sleeping in Rosie's bed. It's just that simple. But I'm actually here to promote my new book, Long John. He's a long gone. A cobbler's tale. Fascinating. Well, that's all the time we have for that interview. Now to our sports correspondent, Josie, to discuss some recent developments in the sports world. Pete, we've recently been given word from the commissioner's office that the Gaga Bowl season has been canceled for the summer as we reach out to some devastated athletes. Gaga Ball, the beloved game at Camp Norwester, has made for a popular pastime among the camp community, but with the recent cancellation of the Gaga Ball season, many fans and athletes are devastated by the prospect of being unable to play or watch their favorite sport, such as this professional athlete. Uh, what do you have to say about the cancellation of the season? I've never been so bummed. I mean, I spend my entire year training for the one month I get to spend playing Gaga Ball at Camp Merwester, and it's just been taken away. I live, breathe, and bleed Gaga Ball. Uh, and what will you be doing for your evening activities this summer instead of playing Gaga Ball? Good question, reporter. Probably making bread or something. Who knows? Well, you heard it here first, folks. Pro Gaga Ball player turned baker. 
Our sources also tell us that along with the Gaga Ball season, the Capture the Flag and Raptor Tag seasons have also been cancelled, as well as the Olympic Games. Back to you, Pete. Well, that's all for our show tonight, folks. From Camp Norwester Action News, this is Pete Haslack, telling you, I'm Bledge Free. Good night. <sighs>